good morning guys so it's gonna be a hot one today I can feel it um we're gonna talk about love mag today you guys I like my DMs all day in between yesterday and this morning have just been like very active I'm not gonna say they've been blowing up because that would kind of be over exaggerating but they've had a ton of activity I mean, usually I get, you know, a, a steady stream of DMs throughout the day, especially, but this is like triple or like quadruple what I'm used to. I feel the frustration from you guys. I'm literally receiving messages from Love Meg's subscribers, from her Instagram followers, from former followers, from people who have just canceled their lovemeg.video subscription like I'm receiving messages from everybody and the common theme is who does she think she is that is the common thing that I see with everyone across the board who does she actually think she is literally being so bitchy and I'm not even going to say Oh, she's being snarky. She's being sassy. She posted this thing on her Instagram and I'll throw it right here. Pause to read it where she said that she chose sass and that's why she was snapping off on people. The attitude that she has had with people asking questions over the last couple of days is like something that I've seen only like you know maybe a handful of times on on the internet because I've seen people maybe get a little short if it's a you know if it's actually a stupid question it, it, here's my whole thing if you ask an actual stupid question expect to receive a stupid answer um you know and am I saying that a stupid answer has to be just like full of you know, you should be cussed out? Absolutely not. Because I think that you can give someone a stupid answer and not cuss them out or call them names. What Meg is doing is not just being sassy. She's being outright rude. She is being um, entitled. She is, um, you know, literally getting upset with people. She's getting upset with people for asking if she stopped making YouTube videos and she wanted them to go look at her YouTube channel instead of asking her. Listen, if you don't want people to ask you questions, get the fuck off the internet. How about that? How about you take a break? And I said the same thing with Brianna Kay. And this logic could apply to a lot of different people. Um, but more recently, with both of them, if you're having like a bad day or a bad week, I totally get that. I've had bad days and bad weeks during my time on YouTube. In fact, very recently. Like, life happens whether or not you're online. Life changes. Things that, um, you know, you might have a day where you get some good news one day and the very next day you could get the worst news that you've ever heard. But that's not the fault of your subscribers. That's not the fault of someone on Instagram who comes across your page and wants to ask you a question that you might find annoying. Um, asking a truly stupid question and asking something that might be a little bit annoying are two different things. And I just cannot believe for the life of me that after seeing all of this, that anyone would want to support her. Like, literally, why would you expect anyone to continue to um, want to watch your fucking boring videos? First of all, your content, and this might be an unpopular opinion, and I try to limit the amount of times I say someone's content is truly just boring. Sometimes it's just not my cup of tea. It's not the, t the type of stuff that I like to listen to. But Love Makes content, when you actually look at it, is very boring. And that's been the problem with the Love Make That Video thing from the get-go, 
is that you're not producing content that should be behind a paywall. The reason that people watched it from, from the first place is because it was for free on YouTube. And obviously this was also before she turned greedy and took the PPP loans and stuff. I just really don't understand. Um, at this point in my opinion for what that's worth, I don't find her to have a whole lot of redeeming qualities in between the the way that she's just like expecting people to hand money to her combined with her really shitty attitude towards people those two things combined to me um I don't really care what she says or does that's not someone who I would ever look at and say, oh, well, you know what, like she, she had a bad day or something a year ago, like people just over exaggerated it and whatever. Um, this is so much more than that. It's one thing to be rude, even if it's on like, you know, a, a couple different occasions, let's just say that you're rude and you're <clears throat> snapping at people and whatever. But then you come back and you realize like, look, what I did last week, that was not okay. I'm really sorry about it. Um, or what I did, you know, last month, like I, I don't feel okay about the way that I was snapping off of people that have supported me along this journey. Um, and, and put me in this place where I'm able to make boring content for a living and actually make a, a decent living off of it there for a while. She, she doesn't even have enough wherewithal to recognize, oh wow, like this is actually a really big problem and I'm wrong. I'm wrong for this. I'm wrong for, quote, choosing sass as she likes to categorize it as, even though she's not choosing sass, she's just being bitchy. That's it. But I've just heard from so many of you guys that you have, um, you know, either recently unfollowed or you unfollowed her a while ago um, and you're, you're just flabbergasted by the way that she's acting. And I get that. Um, but at the same time, truly nothing can shock me when it comes to the way that some of these people act. When you build up these people to a, a point where they have success online and you know they they have a pretty strong following unfortunately I think as we've seen a lot of them don't know what to do with that success. They don't know how to handle it. They don't know how to interact with so many different personalities. And that's a really, um, that's a really good trait to have is to be able to um, interact with a lot of different personalities. Like you might have some subscribers that are really quiet and only leave their opinion if they feel really strongly about something, whether it's an agreeance or, or um, if they're disagreeing with you. Um, and, and there might be some people that are just like super talkative. They might have really unpopular opinions. I don't know, like when you're dealing with the internet, you're just dealing with such a melting pot of different people, different personalities, different walks of life, and they love it when you're building them up and they're on their way to the top, whatever the top is for them, but <laughs> once they get there, they don't know how to maintain it, and I think that's Love Meg in a, in a nutshell. 
But anyway, I did want to share my thoughts about this. I just couldn't believe how many messages I was getting and everything, you know. I know that none of these influencers would ever listen to a word that I have to say because I'm looked at as a as a hater, as a drama channel that's just like out to cancel them. Um, I'm not here to cancel anyone. I'm just here to share my thoughts as, as I always have. Um, but if I was going to give Left Meg any piece of advice, it would just be to stop being such a bitch. And you guys know, I try to not like name call that directly, but her actions speak for themselves. That's not sass. That's not being snarky. That's what I think about Love Meg. I think she needs to just, you know, somehow find enough self ref- self-awareness to look and see why she felt okay not only being rude, but then doubling down and justifying being a bitch to the people that put her where she is. So either way, we'll see what happens. I'm sure that she will just keep going and keep making an entire mess out of the situation, but time will tell. So for now, if you like the video, please leave a like in the comments. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.